idea. All right, you can start now. Great, I hate you all. Dif difference between, again, I hate you all. The difference between radiation and contamination. Radiation and contamination are not the same thing. Radiation are, is waves. Radiation exists. Radiation is, it comes from pretty much everywhere. It goes to pretty much everywhere. Um, it doesn't go on forever, though. Are you enjoying yourself, Marcus? I hate you too. Um, contamination doesn't mean radiation is going into the table or going into the stapler and now suddenly the table or the stapler is radioactive. That's, that's not how contamination works. Contamination is, hey look, I have some radioactive stuff. I have some Fukushima steam that carried away some fuel and strained out some of the radioactive fuel that was carried off by the steam. And now I have a pile of radioactive fuel. Put it on the table, now the table's contaminated, as well as my hand. Um, but the table itself isn't radioactive. It just has radioactive shit on it. Okay? So contaminated water, the water isn't dangerous. The water can be purified. And the water is going to mitigate the radioactivity to some extent itself. Yeah, you get the idea. Um, the next important thing to understand no, is that radiation, like I said, radiation doesn't go on forever. Radiation is stopped by stuff. Two inches of lead will cut the strength of radiation by 90%. The next two inches of lead cut it by 90% again. The next two inches of lead cut it by 90% of lead, or 90% again. So four inches of lead brings you down to 1% the radiation, whatever you're shielding yourself from. Um, the same, you, you can say the same thing about, you know, four inches of, uh, that's, so two inches of lead is the tenth thickness of lead. Uh, the tenth thickness for steel is four inches, so four inches of steel um, will reduce radiation by a lot. And 12 inches of water does the same thing. Right. Um, so, if radiation is at the bottom of a lake, and you're 12 inches above that radiation pile, would you be fine? Insufficient data. How radioactive is this little source, this theoretical source at the bottom of the water? How close, or like, we, I, don't, I don't know. So it depends on the power of the contaminants that are in the water. Yes, partly. But the contamin in the case of, like I are using the example of Fukushima, we've got radioactive contaminants that are going into the water. It's going to diffuse. It's going to spread out. And then because of that whole tenth thickness of water thing, all that radiation that's in the ocean is going to basically not matter. Mm -hmm. It's going to be wiped. It's going to not exist out to past a certain point. The water is going to eat the radiation. The ocean is very good at cleaning itself up. Um, when people measure radiation, um, there are several different ways of measuring it, and that's where I'm going to bring 